So what is your name? I'm Gabby. I'm Rochelle. My name is Tara. I'm Dore. My name is Jacob Thompson. My name is Corey Howard. I'm Ashley. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions about image. What do you think is the perfect image? Um, I don't really know if I have like a, an idea of like a perfect image. The ones that we see like on TV and in the movies and on magazines. It honestly doesn't really matter to me. You know, just staying, staying fit and staying healthy I think is important for anyone, but I know there's a lot of ways to do that. I think the perfect image is whatever you personally see yourself as. Uh, I don't think that's anyone else's to decide other than your own. How would you explain your image and what do you do to keep up with this image? I think I have a very unique image. Um, I don't know very many people who look like me or remotely like me, but um, I do have like a naturally athletic build and I keep up with that by working out every day. I would say my image comes off kind of stylish because I like fashion so I try and dress really nice and I keep up with this by following fashion trends. I do martial arts and my dad is my instructor so I'm always going to class and working out with him. I would say that my image is more on the thin side and that um, I exercise regularly, I lift weights and run on a daily basis. Well, I'd like to think of myself as an outgoing person. Um, I try to always be like upbeat and like happy all the time. Um, so I would say my image is kind of like long and like lanky, like kind of thin and stuff. And um, I keep up that image by by running because uh, that's what I love to do, and um, I do it a lot. So you know, typically you know runners are more on the thin side of things. So how important is your image to you, and why is it so important? Um, my image is pretty important to me. Um, I say that my image is important to me some days and then other days I don't really try. I really don't care what people think. It's my body and I do what I want. But when I don't try, I feel really insecure about myself and I, I just feel so bad. Just because that's my, like anyone's first impression of me and like you don't really get to make first impressions again, so. How would you want a stranger to think about you, judging by your looks? I would want them to think that I'm very well in shape and that I take nutrition and fitness very seriously. I'm pretty and I'm put together and that I don't look lazy. I want them to think that I'm nice, pretty, and I dress well. How do you think society has formed your opinion on what the perfect image is? I think that society has been giving a lot of mixed signals lately. That like girls being extremely skinny is like the perfect look and guys being very muscular in shape is the preferred look. There's more campaigns on about loving yourself and loving your body, but then again there's still those campaigns that make you feel insecure about yourself. They kind of like put a standard in front of us and we just form to that because that's what everyone thinks. If you can change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Boy, <laughs> the list goes on. Um, I probably wouldn't really like change anything about myself. I would want to change my body. I would absolutely, I would change. I would make my nose smaller. I would take this mole off my nose. Probably my weight. I would probably make my body a lot smaller. Um, I would change my height. I would like to be a little bit taller. I would make my teeth straighter. I would be thinner. Not a thing. I would be a little bit taller. <laughs> Just all of those things. Why would you want to change that? I would change it because there's just certain times where I don't think I look good in pictures or in the mirror. I don't really like how they look in a lot of my clothes, and I just think that they make me look bigger. Because in case someone wants to mess around, I can dunk on them. I don't think that um, my body is what I would want it to be. Um, I would change all of those things because that's when, like, I wake up in the morning and look in the mirror. <laughs> those are the things that I notice. I don't, I don't ever look in the mirror and go, "Wow, like, I look great today. I'm like a cool man." Like, I... what is your favorite part about yourself? 
<laughs> oh, that's a hard one. Um, I, I don't really know if I have like a favorite part of, of, about me. I've never really given that thought. I like pretty much everything about myself. I would say my favorite part about myself is my style. Um, I think I really like my eyes and my smile and my skin color. Um, I like my eye color and <laughs> that's it. I'm honestly not content with anything about myself. Um, I guess if I had to choose one thing that I liked about myself, I would probably say my eyes. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I, I like my hair a little bit, but... <laughs> what makes you feel confident about your image? Um, I like to smile a lot, and smiling's attractive. Something that makes me feel confident about my image is my style. Probably, like, my drive. Just playing basketball, pretty much. I think what, like, I guess really makes me happy is when someone notices what I'm wearing or that I've lost weight. Um, you know, uh, self, like, motivation and determination with things. Something that makes me feel most confident about my image is probably when strangers, like, compliment me. through like, social media, if I get likes or comments on pictures. I guess little things that no one would really expect would make me happy. Conforming to society's definition to the perfect or ideal image would be unrealistic for everyone to do because of the many differences among person to person. Insecurities form because one does not fit the standards of this perfect image, which leads to the fear of not being good enough. People do unhealthy workouts and diets or undergo plastic surgeries for the sole purpose of impressing others. They resort to these desperate measures believing that they will find happiness and confidence through the acceptance of others when in actuality that happiness is very temporary. There is no such thing as a perfect or ideal image because all body types are different and those differences are what make you, you and no one else.